So, okay, let's move on now, though. Do you want to do edit? We'll do the AFC one first. Because yeah. to me, I feel like my, I'm going to say it right now, the NFC game is going to be the better game. I'm sorry, Patriot and Bronco fans. It just is. Cardinals, Panthers is going to be the better game. That's why it's the afternoon cap or the primetime cap, if you want to call it that. But the one thing we have to say about this Brady Manning, if off the top of my head, I'm thinking this is going to be the 17th meeting all time against these two. It's going to be the fourth meeting in the AFC title game. And some one interesting number to say, in when they've met in the AFC championship game, it's Peyton 2, Tom Brady 1. Yeah, which is surprising because Tom Brady usually can do a pretty good job against Peyton Manning. Not necessarily in, in this situation here, but I think it'll get evened up. I really do. I can go ahead and say it right now. You think the Patriots? Are- I, I think they've got a good shot of beating, of beating the Broncos, mainly because, yes, the Broncos had the better defense, mm-hmm. and that's definitely good. And some people are predicting a nice defensive struggle here, but I just can't see, and it, it pains me to say this because I've been for three years now saying. Peyton Manning is going to go have one last ride Mm -hmm. into a Super Bowl, win it, and retire. But it's just so hard for me to see him actually going out there and winning one, you know, winning one out in the the playoffs when it counts and getting to the Super Bowl on his own. Because you know Tom Brady can go out there and win a game on his own. Mm -hmm. And he kind of has to. Because, yes, other players have been stepping up now. Edelman coming back was amazing for for the Patriots. But... Tom Brady, I have no doubts that he can go out there and win this game all by himself. Peyton Manning needs the defense to go out there and essentially put the game on a silver uh, a silver platter for him and say, "Here you go, Peyton. Now just throw that one touchdown that we need for you, or that those two touchdowns that we're going to need from you." I I just trust in Tom Brady a little bit more, which pains me to say. It does pain me to say because I I do. Want Peyton Manning to go get that one Super Bowl win so he can tie his brother, who we all know is the better of the two. And then he can finally have two Super Bowl rings as well. I just I just don't know if I can if I can buy it. You know, it's a, before I get into the actual game, and this just popped into my head because of what you just said mentioning Eli Manning. But you know what I learned today watching an interview on Sports Center with it was some author of a book that wrote a book about this matchup, the Brady-Manning matchup. He said that when the Giants played the Patriots Mm -hmm. in, I I can't remember if it was one of the regular season games or the Super Bowl game, Peyton went to Eli and said, hey, you know what, I want to hang on to this touchdown record. Could you go ahead and tell your defense to go ahead and like play a good game so I hang on to it? And Eli at first is like, oh, you know what? Like, he just laughed at it because he thought he was joking. But then Peyton was like, no, nah, dude, I'm serious. I want I want to hang on to this. So Eli went to Antonio Pierce, who was on the team at the time. Antonio Pierce thought Eli was joking. Eli was like, no, my, my brother's actually serious about this Big thing. bro wants it. And there was a deal on the table, a deal in quotes on the table, that if the giant defense – kept the record with Peyton. I want to say it was like passing touchdowns in a season or something. But if they kept it with Peyton, Peyton was going to take them to this restaurant they all ate at and buy the entire defense dinner. Yeah. Here's the thing. I I do want to acknowledge that Peyton Manning did essentially win the game against the Steelers. Mm -hmm. You know, it is his late touchdown that really made it happen. But... I mean, I don't. I, I. It's one of those situations where a guy like Peyton Manning shouldn't have been in that situation. He should have been able to already win that game against a really beaten down Steelers team. But I mean, yeah, I'll give him credit where credit's due. But really, I mean, you have a guy at the very end of his career. He's on the very last rope of it, and then you had Tom Brady, who's going to play till he's eighty. So, <laughs> well, forty. We know that for sure. Yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm expecting quite a bit more. Of time. This this game is hard for me, and I'm just gonna say it now, before all of you like sit on the edge of your seat waiting for me to make a pick. I'm not gonna say my picks in this podcast for both games. 
I'm gonna leave with me personally. I know Mark gave his. Well, I don't know if I gave mine. I still I'm, have a surprise for everybody. I'm going to leave my pick until the video. So you can, if you're listening to this on SoundCloud when the podcast comes out, you can wait for the video. If you're listening to it post Thursday, then you can go and watch the video. I'm not giving my picks to you guys. You guys can wait and go watch the video for that. But this game, this AFC championship game to me comes down to two things, two questions. Do we want to see Peyton Manning? This is option one. See Peyton Manning do what we wanted to see, what we saw Elway do, what I wanted to see Brett Favre do, what Michael Jordan in the NBA got to do, and that's walk off with a championship. Mm -hmm. I won on top, and I'm walking away on top. Do we want to see that? Or option B, and this you can put Michael Jordan in this category too because he was he's the GOAT of the NBA. I'm sorry, Steph Curry fans, but do we want to see Tom Brady win again, go to a Super Bowl, and possibly add another Super Bowl to his trophy case, forever locking up the Patriots as the best dynasty of the 21st century and just naming Peyton, or not Peyton Manning, naming Tom Brady as the greatest quarterback of all time. Yeah, I think— Which one do you want to see? That's the question. Which one would I rather see? I'd rather see Peyton Manning win one more. Uh, You know, I'd, I'd rather see that because I love seeing the guy go out there Win it and retire, you know, and retiring glory. I love seeing that. Um, now, if he pulled a Ray Lewis, I think he would do it. Mm-hmm. If he went out there and said, "This is it, guys. This is my last ride." Yeah. After this, I'm done. I think that his team would have played up a little bit, and they probably know. But I think everybody would have. If Peyton did this, yeah, if Peyton said, "I am retiring after this off season, no matter what. I'm retiring." I think his team would play up. And like I said, I think they know in the back of their minds. But I really think they would step up, and I think they would do it. And I think he would get that because there's just a little extra emotional incentive mm-hmm. for your team to do that. Uh, and it's also kind of a little bit of a psychological game against the other team. The team you're facing is going to say, he's got more to play for than anybody else right now. You know what I don't want to see happen? Like the one thing, the only thing that I for sure don't want to see happen What's that? Peyton Manning gets in. If the Broncos lose this game, Peyton Manning can't get injured. Because the only way Peyton Manning, to me, doesn't retire is if it's a close game all the way through, like close as like Mm -hmm. field goal, tie game type close, where I could still win the game for my team. Peyton Manning gets injured late, and they lose. A la Brett Favre in the NFC Championship game. Against the Saints. Yeah. If that happens, Peyton Manning does the Brett Favre, comes back, says, you know what, one more. I got one more in me. When he really doesn't, we all know. Mm -hmm. Dude, just go to the couch. You're done. Just give the keys to Brock at this point. Here's your Wrangler jeans. Well, yeah, here's your Wrangler jeans. Do the commercials. Or for him, here's your your three-topping pizza. Now record us a commercial. I don't want to see if the Broncos lose, Peyton Manning can't get injured. Because if Manning gets injured in the Super Bowl, he still walks away. Because you know what? I got to the Super Bowl and I'm going through the grind. I feel yeah. though if he loses a close game and gets injured, he comes back. Unless his body is so broken that he just can't. Now, what I would be willing to watch, you know, going off of what you said, mm-hmm. I would be willing to see Peyton Manning go out there, get hurt. Not at the very end, maybe at the very end, but not at the very end. And Brock Osweiler comes in and, and beats to, Tom Brady. Yep. I am more than happy <laughs> and more than willing to watch that game. Oh. I will see that. That'll be great. Uh, and really, with that being said, there's not a single bad matchup possibility mm-hmm. in this scenario. Usually, there's one where you're like, oh man, I just really don't want to see that team versus this team. But in this kid's situation, with the four teams that are left, I am willing to watch any of these games. And if we can pull it off to where I can watch all of them somehow. I'm happy doing that too. But, you know, it's the Broncos are the better team, but it's one of those situations where when it comes to clutch time, you know, when the very end, I just think that Tom Brady has a little bit more to give 
than Peyton Manning does. And it will not surprise me in the slightest if it comes down to the last, you know, minute, last two minutes maybe. The last game was close. It was 30-24. to 24. It's a touchdown difference. I see no reason why this game isn't, you know, decided by a touchdown. I joked and I said that, oh, I'm sorry, Patriot and Bronco fans. The NFC game is going to be the better game of the two. Let's be honest. Both these games, on paper, have the potential to be great. And the one thing I do fear is that both of these games are so great in their own, like, realm that the Super Bowl can't live up to it. You know how I feel about the Super Bowl. I, I know, but tell the fans again. The Super Bowl new. is never as good as the two conference games. Well, I mean, look at the Seattle Niner matchups we've had. Conference games are always better than the, the Super Brady Bowl. matchups we've had. There's just well, the Brady There's just matchups. more of a chance that these teams don't like each other. Mm-hmm. For example, the Denver Broncos and the New England Patriots. Or these teams the do Broncos not like each and other. The Steelers or the Patriots and the Steelers. Yeah, or the Patriots and the Ravens. In but to use past. this example right now, mm-hmm. let's say the Patriots play. The Panthers. Yes, they have faced off in the Super Bowl before, but these two teams don't care about each other. Mm-hmm. The Cardinals play the Denver Broncos. Those two teams don't care about each other. And it's not even in a home stadium. Yeah. I want to see us. Well, I know we're not going to Foxborough, but I would love to see uh, you know a conference game in Foxborough because mm-hmm. there's nothing better than that. Or when it goes to Seattle and they got to go against the 12th man. I love seeing things like that. You just don't get that same feeling in the Super Bowl. It's just not the same. I shared this because one of my friends shared it via Sports Center on Sunday night. And this is a fact that I just saw it and went, wow. 12 out of the last 13 Super Bowls, then this is including this one, will have either featured Tom Brady, Peyton Manning, or Big Ben. Yeah, that makes o- sense. The only one since 2003 not to feature one of those three guys, 2012, when it was Joe Flacco. Uh, I just and they have all the pictures yeah. and you see like Brady, Brady, Ben, Manning, Brady, Ben, Manning, and then 2012 Flacco, just a purple jersey out of nowhere. Who did Joe Flacco play in? I in don't the even Super remember. Bowl? Yeah, it was the Hardball. Oh, that's right, the Hardball, right. and then the the, the lights went out in the uh, in New Orleans, and then they came back, and then they came back. Forty Niners came back. The Forty Niners came back with the and lights. Then they didn't win because that was the one. Tory Smith had the like. The punt return to start the second half, and the game was over. Yeah. Everyone thought it was over, but before we move on to the NFC game, I've got one thing I want to mention. I'm looking at a map on my tablet. Mm -hmm. I'm going to bring this up at the end of the NFC segment because it's about Super Bowl matchups that you'd want to see. Out of the four, there's only two that most of America wants to see. And the thing I find funny, if I drew a line... Down the borders, and this is like eastern borders of Wisconsin, Illinois, and straight through. Everything west of Illinois, except for like two states, I want to say Arkansas and California, want to see the Broncos in the Super Bowl. Everything east of like Ohio, Kentucky, Tennessee, and Mississippi wants to see the Patriots. And I'm going to bring this back after we talk about the NFC game because, like I said, it kind of goes in with who I want to see in the Super Bowl. 